Welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. I'm going to do a little bit of polish playing today. Um, I had a couple ideas that I just wanted to play around with and I figured you guys might want to sit in on it with me, kind of watch what I'm doing. I was thinking about playing with my new La Chat Dare to Wear Thermal Polishes and so what I did was swatch out about three nails um, for each of five thermal polishes that I have here. And we're gonna try either different toppers on, on top of them or some loose nail art. I've got some flakies and some powders uh, that I wanted to try. So we're just gonna do a little bit of playing today and see. And the reason I really wanna do this is because I feel like if you can just get a really good base thermal polish, then you can do whatever you want with them. I kind of talked about that when I was hauling these. And so I thought what a better way to see what I might want to do with them by just playing around on the swatch wheels and seeing what I might end up wanting to put on. So let's get the camera turned around and we'll take a look. Okay, so I have these swatched out on the swatch wheel. So I was just going to show you. So this is, so there's three and three and three. So for, there's three for each of these polishes. So the first one is the Sapphire Knight. And these are all going to be from Le Chat Dare to Wear. And I thought, but before we do anything, I'll just show you this is the one that goes to bright blue. So I'm going to stick it in the water here, my hot water, so you can see. So the first three are going to go to this bright, bright blue. The next three here, this is that groovy heat wave. This one goes to kind of like a reddish color. So I'm going to show you that real quick here. And so you've got the, this kind of, I don't know, reddy, peachy color. And then the dark gray here this one is called dream chaser and it goes to kind of like a i don't know what would you, i think to me it looks kind of gray but it's kind of like a violety gray i guess maybe just a little violety gray so we've got those three and then we've got this one which is called if i can remember it is called something star scarlet stars scarlet stars so and this one goes to a, a brighter red too like a bright 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 red so we've got this bright red color. And then the last one is Limelight, and it goes to kind of like a brighter green. Look at those. Not a huge change between those, two, between those two colors there, so. Okay, so that is where we're at. So we're gonna start here. Let me see if I can get this dried off. The first thing I wanna do, because for a couple of these, we're gonna be doing some loose glitter, so I'm gonna put some sticky base coat on a couple of them so let me do that on I'm gonna do it on this this one just so that we have some sticky on there and I know we're gonna be doing it on this one so let me get that one on there and I believe we're doing it on this one as well I had these all planned out and then I smushed all my my plan together over here. So and I thought there was one more. It might be, we'll get to it. We'll come back to it because I can't remember now what I was supposed to do because I got all these things smushed together over here. All right, so we'll let those dry a bit. Let's start with, um, so this first, this first one here. I thought it would be fun because it goes to a bright, blue and it has that plum color i was gonna put on i wanted to put on this oh my gourd from sally hansen and i just thought it would look really cool in both states and sort of like maybe like if it was like an early fall thing so we're just gonna put one little coat on there super super fun and you know also don't be afraid to um do two things, right? You could put some flakies on with the glitter. It would be kind of fun as well. All right, so we got that one on there. And then the next one I want to do is um, another thing I don't want you to be afraid about, which is sometimes you can use colors that aren't meant to be toppers as toppers. So this is called I Ice Ice Cherry from Simple Colors, which I thought would be super fun on this plum. I don't know what it's going to do on the, on the blue. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it on that one. Let's save it for the for the red one because I think it might go better with the, the one next to it. So let's just do a simple one here. Um, we're gonna do this one from 
Orly Frank, which is or, or Orly Frank, Orly with with Lisa Frank, um, which is called Starglaze, which was a gift to me from my friend Vicky. So let's try that on top of here. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, and let's see if this is uh, dry enough. I think it might be to do the glitter burnishing. Okay, so for the glitter or the flaky burnishing over here, um, I wanted to try this little flaky over here. Oops, and I lost my little applicators. Let me grab one of those. I got my hot water bowl over here and it's in the way. Okay, so um, I had bought these from Timu a bit ago, so I thought it'd be fun to try it on some of these thermals and see what happens. And if you don't know how to do this, I mean, you just take your, your little applica applicator here and get it on your wand, and then you're just gonna kind of like pat, pat, pat it on there. They're gonna get everywhere. Oops, and I got one on the other one, but oh well. Just kind of cool, huh? It's kind of hard to do it on these little nail wheels because <laughs> you you can't you, you end up hitting touching the other two. Okay, so those are those three, and now let's do. The one that goes to kind of red, which I decided that we were going to do the ice, ice cherry. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay. So this is that groovy heat wave, and I'm going to put simple colors ice, ice cherry on top of it and see what happens. Ooh, now that's pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Pretty neat. All right. And then we're going to do. Mm, I'm trying to decide. I think we're going to do this one. I was going back and forth. I have a bunch of these Sally Hansen toppers, and this is the crystal top coat, which was like one of the original ones they came out with. And I was going, I was going to do the moonlit top coat, but I feel like it's going to come out too pink. If you want to see the difference, I'm afraid that that's you're going to really see a lot of pink. And I'm really wanting to try and maybe push it towards fall a little bit. So let's try this one on top of it and see. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Oh, they're also fun. Okay, and this one has the sticky base on it, so we're gonna do another one of my Timu haul. I don't think I've hauled. Actually, I didn't do. I had. Got, I got a second. Per like, I did a second order, and I don't think I actually hauled any of that. So, but I'm gonna try this. It's like this powder it's like a it's like a white chrome powder so and they actually sent it with this little applicator thing too so let's see if I can get a bunch on there and then I'm gonna it's gonna be interesting because I didn't realize it was gonna be this opaque so I wonder what's gonna happen when we do the, add the hot. It's, I wonder if you're even going to see it. This is why I need to do these things. I never know how these things work. Yeah, I don't think it's going to really transition, but who knows? Let's see what happens. Look at that. Chrome. This is so cool. I actually really bought this one to do over white, but wow, that came out wonky. You know, what actually would have been kind of cool was maybe to only do a little bit of it instead of doing like all of it and then just had like, I don't know, like spots of it. You could almost make it look like a magnetic, I bet. Ah, things to think about, right? <laughs> All right, so now for the next one, which is Dream Chaser, which is this gray, blackish gray color. Um, the first one I wanna do is this, I thought this would be so fun from Rogue Lacquer. This, this is Bed of Roses. I'm gonna try and be really light-handed with it. It's pretty, pretty dense. 
let's see, because it's going to go to gray, which would be, I think, kind of cool to have on there. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. I like that. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we do the transition color on it. Pretty cool. All right, and then the next one is going, I have, um, oh yeah, I wanted to do these. Oh, watch, we'll do that one, the glitter version. What are we gonna do in this next one here? Let's do, I think I wanted to do, I do wanna, I mean, no, I think I'm gonna do the, it's gonna be pink, but that's all right. Let's try it. Let's see what happens with me. I wanted, I do wanna try this one. We're gonna do that moonlit top coat from Sally Hansen. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit pink, which is what I thought I was gonna do, but it's still kind of cool. That'd be fun for like, definitely for winter time. All right, and then these really cool flakies, which are ones that I got from Timo as well that I haven't shared with you yet, are these kind of like slate bluey gray, which I thought would be super cool on top of that dark gray. If I can get my applicators over here. I really should uh, learn how to be more prepared, huh? Oh my goodness, they just went everywhere. Oh, I gotta get everything. Didn't mean to. Oh, those are really flaky. Like, you know, some are heavier than others. And these are super light. So they're flying everywhere. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm getting it on the other one. So we'll have to just go with it. They're like all over the paper towel now. So, all right, what do you think? That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Let's close up those. I'm gonna be inhaling these into my lungs for the next two months. Okay, so now for these, this one, um, I'm a little worried because it already has glitter. So this is that Scarlet Stars, and it already has like that kind of ruby glitter that's in there. So I don't, you know, I don't wanna compete with it. So what I was thinking about doing is just, um, something simple first from like hollow taco like my very favorite scattered hollow taco which is my absolute favorite so i want to just try that just to do something dainty on top of it and give it like a little extra pizzazz yeah see how we can make these mainstream polishes look like indies i mean that's that's my whole goal here do we really have to buy all those indies if you can just buy a few toppers or some loose art and make it into an, a complete indie wheel, right? All right, so we got that one on there. And then we're gonna do, um, I thought it would be fun to do another hollow taco, which is the everything taco. So that's gonna be basically adding flakies with the ruby glitters, plus it's also gonna have all the hollow in there as well. It's pretty similar only it's got just a little bit extra on there, right? Yeah, that's pretty fun. It's, it's, it's hard to tell, I mean, you can't, you really, it's hard to tell the difference, right? I mean, yes, there's flakies in that one, but they look pretty similar, pretty similar. All right, so that means we gotta do something really way different on this one. So let's do something really wild, like, let's take Ranger. So Ranger from Fancy Gloss, and let's put it on. And I'm gonna be light-handed with this one too because it's pretty dense. We're gonna do that on this one and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. It's funny because they all kind of look the same on there, except for this one has more green in it, huh? All right, pretty cool. All right, the green ones. Let's do the green ones. All right, picked out for the green ones. All right, got first one I want to do, which is from Rogue Locker, and this is going to be Batsy, and I just thought it would be fun because I think it would be fun like for monster um, kind of mani or Halloween type mani on this, and it would be really cool to do that. So let's try that. Oh yeah, I like that. That's creepy. Right, kind of a creepy 
fun, fun, fun. And then the next one's gonna be a wild one. I'm gonna do this one. I was gonna do my Bees Knees Locker, but I think I'm gonna do this one because I think more people probably have this one. And I've always been trying to figure out how, what to do with this. This is Bite from Simple Colors. Um, again, don't be afraid to use polishes that are not intended to be toppers as toppers, right? I'm afraid, it's probably gonna come out a little bit blue, but I think it'll be fun. Oh, actually, that looks pretty neat. What do you guys think? I like it. I really like it. All right, we need one more. We're gonna do one more here. So let's throw on, let's throw on, let's go back to this one. This is that moonlit top coat. We're gonna put it on this green. I wanna see what happens with those different colors in there. All right, put in this moonlit top coat from Sally Hansen on top of Lit Chat's Limelight. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, look at this. We made an indie wheel. Okay, now this is all in the cold state, right? We've got all of these in the cold state. So let me pause. Um, I'm gonna put top coat on everything, heat up my water again, and then we're gonna see what this all looks like. All right, we're back. Okay, so I've got everything top coated. So. We're talking about this, these first three. The first three are with the Sapphire Knight, and this one is with the Sally Hansen Oh My Gourd, and then we've got the Orly from Lisa Frank, which I think I forgot to say what it's called. It's called Star Glaze. So we've got Sally Hansen, the Orly, and then we have some Loose Flakies, and I'm gonna dip those in the hot water. Oops, I didn't mean to hit you guys. All right, so that's what I thought would be really cool with that. I love that. I like them all. I'm kind of, oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm kind of partial to these glitters. I think that makes it really pop, huh? Okay, and the next three are the um, Groovy Heat Wave ones. So let me dip those in. Like I said, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, actually, you guys, you can see it through the, the, um, the chrome, I'm really impressed. Okay, so this one, I'm sorry, I forgot, I should have showed it before I dipped it in there, huh? Um, the first one here was with the Simple Colors ice, ice Cream, and then the second one is with the Sally Henson Crystal Top Coat, and then remember we put the chrome on there. I'll do it one more time, let me see if I can make it cold again, because I forgot to show you on my fingers when it was cold, huh? I was, I was too excited, I jumped the gun. I really, I can't get it to, well, it's coming back now, I guess it is coming a little bit back cold so um but actually i'm i'm impressed with that i want to do it one more time <laughs> i didn't think that we would be able to see it change under there but it really did change do you see how it kind of turned it like peachy that's wild okay well now we know right all right what do you guys think okay the next one is with the dream chaser and this one has rogue lacquers bed of roses on this on it and then this one is the um crystal top coat i'm trying to remember what i put on this one actually no this i'm sorry this one yeah this one was crystal top coat and what did i put on now i'm not gonna remember what i put on this one <laughs> all right and then this one is with the loose flakies that i got from timu i can't remember what i put on this one now all right let's see let's dip them in the hot water And, all right, here's Better Roses. Here's the mystery one that I can't remember. <laughs> and then there's the one with the, with the, just the loose flakies. What do you think? I think they're pretty cool looking. Huh. No, I'm thinking. Okay, this one I accidentally started to get it wet, but this one has the hollow tacos on it. So this is the the Let's Chat one is called Scarlet Stars, and this is just this. Uh, is this the? I think I did the flaky. I think I did the flaky one, not scattered. I think I did the flaky one on top of it. It looks like a flaky. I think it was the flaky hollow taco. We'll have to go back and look. Boy, I'm really doing well today, huh? And then this one was the everything taco. 
And then this one was more loose flakies. Oh no, not loose flakies. We did Ranger on top of that one. This was Ranger from Fancy Gloss. Okay, so Flaky Hollow Taco, Everything Taco, and Ranger from Fancy Gloss. Let's see what it looks like. All right, what do we think? I love that. I think for Christmas, <sighs> so pretty. Yeah. You know, it's funny with this ranger on there, that would definitely be Christmassy because you've got the red and the green. How fun. Okay, and then we have Limelight from La Chat. We have got Roblockers Batsy on top of it. Um, and then we've got Bite from Simple Colors. And then this one is the Sally Hansen Moonlit Top Coat that's on top. And I, I like how they all turned out, but let's try it with the hot water. And again, this one is pretty subtle, the change. Yeah, pretty, pretty subtle. But I like it. I especially like this, the black with Batsy on it. Okay, well, what do you think? Was Did we turn these uh, mainstream polishes into indies here? I mean, we used a good mix of indies and mainstreams on here, so um, I feel like I'm utilizing my entire collection, plus doing nail art as well. Any other ideas? I would love to know if you have any other ideas for what I could use on top of these, but I hope to uh, use some of these in some fun nail art, or some fun nail manis, I should say. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.